All right, we're here, Radio Row Super Bowl 58. Matt Ryan, now at CBS, yes. of course, longtime Atlanta Falcon. And this is this is such a cool thing to be here, Las Vegas. And you, you've been through this as a player. Yeah. Now you're doing it as, as media, a little bit different feel. What did you, when you first went through this as a player, what did, what did, what was different than what you expected? Just kind of the size, the scale of, of everything. I mean, you kind of anticipate that, but then you get there and you see it and you're like, man, it's every, everywhere around the world. You know, it's, it's not just here in the United States. I mean, you got people from, from all over, all over the globe that, that are here covering this game and you understand how big the outreach is to all of those things. So, uh, to me, it, it's impressive to, to see the size and the scale of, uh, you know, Radio Row and, and the amount of media that's here at Super Bowl. Kyle Shanahan was, was your offensive coordinator in Atlanta. You, you had that incredible 2016 MVP run. When when did you know with Kyle, like, this guy just thinks about the game in a different way? Early on. I mean, you know, just the intensity of how he game plans, you know, how important it is to him, uh, the amount of work that he puts in, uh, the, the – He's not scared of trying new things and, and doing things differently. Um, so early on, uh, you knew, okay, this guy's different. You know, this is this is different from uh, other coaches that I've been around. And uh, I had a blast working with him for the, the two years that we were together. Learned a ton, and uh, we played some good football. And uh, I'm rooting for him. I mean, this is a guy that that when you're in the trenches with somebody and you see how important it is to them. Uh, and, and you become friends and, and then you see them have success, you know, moving on. You, you're happy for people when they get that. And hopefully at some point here, uh, he can be a Super Bowl champion. Did you have any inkling when you were when you were in the trenches, as you said, that like Kyle Shanahan, Matt LaFleur, they'd be now two of the star coaches in the league just a couple years later? Yeah, it's interesting. So Matt was our quarterback coach. Um, and Kyle being the OC, like it was only a matter of time. I thought Kyle was was going to get one of the one of these jobs, but I was like, okay, I, I can see Lafleur as as a coordinator. You know, he's going to be a coordinator here or whatever. And then quickly, two years, and then boom, yeah. and, and he's a head coach and has done a great job uh, in Green Bay. I think the development of Jordan Love, all of those things. You know, though, as a player, even as their position coaches, the guys that are, are going to project into something else right they've got bigger plans and and both those guys i always thought for me it was lafleur I, I for sure thought he was going to be a coordinator and kyle was definitely going to be a head coach can you think of a, a play or or something maybe from practice where kyle laid something out for you so this is exactly what's going to happen on this play and you're like i don't know and then it played out exactly that way i mean there's there's a lot of times <laughs> a lot of times that happened you know where it'd be like you got to trust me on this and a lot of it was off of what we did in the play action, kind of turning your back to the line of scrimmage, ripping your eyes around, and really trusting that things were going to be there because the vision was going to be a little bit blurry. Uh, and to me, you know, that, that happened a handful of times early on. It was like, okay, all right, we got action. We're, 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 we're going to be okay. Can you give some context? Because I think for, for someone like me, I, it's hard for me to understand exactly why the turning the back to the defense thing is so different from just like, okay, I'm just going to grip it and rip it and go like, what, what is it that, that changes the picture? Like what makes that so difficult? There is no picture, yeah. you know? And so, and so that's the thing that is difficult. You, you've really got to um, have an understanding of what the coverage is before the ball snap. And a lot of times there's tons of adjustment that you're going to see through that, you know, through that time. But if you're dropping back, you can see it when your back is turned and you're in there selling the fake because the fake is the most important part of the play right it's about getting them to believe that you're running the football it's got to look feel smell like a run uh that that part is the key but you only have you know from that time you fake turn around that ball's got to be coming out so you've got you know a millisecond to be able to diagnose what that space looks like and it requires a lot of trust and so um that part is is tough you just have no eyes down the field you have to have a level of trust there how have you seen Shanahan, uh, and, and really, it's, it's the Shanahan tree now. You know, you got LaFleur, Stefanski, McDaniel, all these guys have, have taken and put it, their spin on it. What, what is it that you think is so elastic about the, the core of that offense? It starts, starts with the run game. And as explosive and dynamic as, as, as these offenses are, there's a commitment to running the football uh, and and a commitment to staying with it, even when it's not pretty early. You look at what San Francisco has done throughout the playoffs, 
to me, their commitment to running the football is what has allowed them. And, and the first half of games in their, in their two games have not been great. No. But they stick with it, right? And it, and it eventually it starts to compound, right? Wears out a defense, but it also starts to open things up in the passing game. And I think all of these guys have learned that. They all do it in their own way, but there's a commitment to running the football and sticking with it uh, and, and realizing the benefits that come with that, not only for protection, but in terms of wearing a defense down. Uh, and that's, to me, you know, the kind of, it's kind of boring, but it's the secret sauce to, to them having success. Did there have to be conversations? Because you were you were a quarterback who, even going back to, to you know, your days at BC, you were traditional, like, pocket quarterback. I want to see everything. I can make adjustments at the line. Where you had to have a conversation with, with Kyle. I'm thinking about, you know, Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers having to have the same sort of conversations about, hey, you just got to, like, trust this. Whereas you're used to having more control over what what's going on yeah i mean it was very collaborative uh when we were together I, I always appreciated that from kyle it was like okay hey here's what i've seen from like an evaluation part of of the seven years prior to him getting there here's what i think you do well <laughs> yeah uh and here's what i think we can fit this into we were like hey, that's actually a longer list of things that i do well here kyle <laughs> yeah i was like oh i got a few more yeah, yeah a few more that I, that i think i can do but um so i thought it was always you know very collaborative he puts a lot on the quarterback, though, um, in terms of getting in and out of plays and getting them into the right stuff. And I think there's uh, there's a lot that you do for him, like a lot that Brock Purdy is doing for him on the field as well, right? He's piecing together these two or three plays that you come to the line of scrimmage with, but there's got to be recognition of it from the quarterback position to get him into the right stuff because that's what he wants. He wants you to running, you know, running certain run plays versus premier fronts and, and throwing certain passes versus man or zone or cover two or cover one whatever it may be uh, he wants you to get you in those right plays and and uh, that was something I always liked and, and I think something Brock Purdy does really well stay up to date all year on the NFL by subscribing to Locked On Sports today and Locked On NFL on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube